He thought it was just another piece of junk mail. However, it contained anything but. Eight on your side, Steve Andrews joins us. And Steve, this has people in four corners of the country just scratching their heads. That's right, Josh. This junk mail or advertisement contained two envelopes stuffed up inside. They happened to be payments to finance and mortgage companies made by people who, until yesterday, had no idea their checks were sitting in a pile of junk mail. <laughs> Debbie Griner's trip to her mailbox earlier this week seemed no different than others until she got home. That's when she picked up this advertisement from Anthem Blue Cross. You know, I went like this, and I saw that something was coming out, so I pulled them out. Them is two envelopes, and you're going to sort of need a map to follow all this. One envelope was mailed from Fairfax, Iowa, sent to a mortgage company in City of Industry, California. The other envelope was mailed from Hillsboro, New Hampshire, to a finance company in Des Moines, Iowa. Both of these letters ended up in a piece of junk mail sent from Woodland Hills, California, and it all ended up in Debbie Griner's mailbox in St. Petersburg. And how the heck it got to St. Pete, Florida, I have no clue. I managed to track down the sender of one letter, 74-year-old Don Seymour of Hillsboro, New Hampshire. Don told me this was a September payment to a finance company for his tractor. His daughter, who's a letter carrier, told me this just doesn't happen. Obviously, the people's mail didn't get to those financial companies, and probably they ended up getting fined, you know, late fee, you know, for something that they actually did mail. According to the Postal Service, it processes and delivers almost 513 million pieces of mail each day. According to an email from Enola Rice, a spokesperson for the U.S. Postal Service, during sortation through our processing equipment, on rare occasion, a piece of mail may become lodged with an unsealed piece of mail too odd, too, too weird, and I guess we'll never know how it happened. What Debbie Griner does know is that from now on, she'll look at junk mail a little differently. Okay. Now, Debbie planned to return the letters to the original senders, but according to the Postal Service, that would be a federal crime. Proper procedure is to bring that uh, mail to a post office or hand it over to your letter, Carrie. And as uh, Jen had said just a, a second or two earlier, it's just a good thing she was honest about this. Well, I'm thinking she's doing the right thing, but yeah. you could get in trouble if you thought Absolutely. of that. Well, how about yeah. poor Mr. Seymour here? He's trying to pay off his tractor. Did the finance company ever get a hold of him? No, he hasn't heard from the finance company. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I gotta tell you, <laughs> being from New England, it was such a joy talking with this gentleman last night about his farm up in there in New Hampshire. <laughs> I just, it made me homesick. He's probably happy that you called him to <laughs> let him know his payment wasn't on the way. All right, Steve Andrews, thank you so much. Sure.